Now, Dr. Petrus Mutsipe is a 62-year-old South African mining billionaire and a businessman with a net worth of over 2.8 billion US dollars. Now, that's around 51 billion rents if you convert 2.8 billion US dollars to South African rents. He is also one of the richest people in South Africa and the richest black man in the country. It is for that reason that here at Easy Finance, we decided to cover the story of Dr. Petrus Mutsipe and some of the most expensive things that he owns. Remember that these videos are only for educational purposes and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more inspirational stories like this. If you ask a black South African politician today about Dr. Petrus Mutsipe, they will tell you that he is a sellout and a puppet of the white monopoly capital of South Africa. But if you ask the common man in South Africa, Mutsipe is the definition of a versatile businessman as he ends from diverse fields of endeavor and serves as an inspiration for most of them. Now, the story of the South African businessman began when he was born into a family of a school teacher known as Augustine Mutsipe in 1962, when South Africa was still being ravaged by the apartheid government. Even under such bad circumstances, Mutsipe was still able to get a good basic education and was presented with the right opportunities to find the appropriate career path. This was largely because of his father's opposition to South Africa's segregated public schooling system which provided the country's blacks with poor educational opportunities and Motsipe and his six siblings attended a Roman Catholic boarding school in Eastern Cape province. His father served as the chief of Macau branch of the Tswana people but prior to this status as a chief, Motsipe's father worked as a school teacher and was very outspoken especially about the ills of the government. As a result, he was banished for opposing apartheid. In spite of all of that, Petrus and his siblings were well taken care of. He grew up with two sisters named Tsepo Mutsipe and Bridget Hadebe. All the Mutsipe siblings have done well for themselves as Tsepo is now the first lady of South Africa. She has been married to President Cyril Ramaphosa since 1996 and he remarried her as a third wife. While on the other side, Mutsipe's other sister Bridget Hadebe is the wife of the African National Congress politician and former Minister of Energy, Jeff Hadebe. Now, it is no longer a secret that Petrus got good education alongside his siblings. He attended the University of Swaziland and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree and proceeded to the University of Witwatersrand for a law degree. Now, at Witwatersrand, Petrus specialized in mining and business law. There is no doubt that his educational qualifications helped him in shaping into the adept businessman that he is today. But his formative ways, which were spent with his father, laid a good foundation for him to pursue his career as a businessman. Although Petrus Mutsipe's father may have been a teacher at some point in his career, he later owned his small business, which was a spaza shop. Now, serving his father at a shop taught Petrus the basic principles involved in running a business. Also, considering the fact that spaza shops were very popular among black mine workers at the time, Mutsipe leveraged this opportunity to get first hand exposure to the mining world and the people who worked in it. His father's business also included a beer hall which was patronized by mine workers. Now, Augustine Mutsipe's involvement in the distribution of alcohol came into affiliation with South African breweries. The exposure got Mutsipe from serving under his father's small business and helped him to build an empire later on. Petrus didn't get his wealth handed down by his ancestors. He only took the knowledge from his father and expanded it into what we see today. He gradually worked his way to the top and he didn't even start as a businessman. Now, Mutsipe first started practicing as a law professional. By 1998, Mutsipe was pursuing a career as a lawyer and joined the firm Bowman Gilfillian. He worked his way up until in 1994 where he became a partner in the law firm as the first black person to be given that position. This was around the same time that Nelson Mandela was elected as the first black president in South Africa. Now, while building his career at the Bowman Gilfillian, Mutsipe worked as a visiting attorney with the American law firm McGurr, Woods, Battle and Booth between 1991 and 1992. Now, with the apartheid government gone, black people got more opportunities to establish themselves in different businesses. It was during this time that Petrus Mutsipe launched Future Mining, rendering contract mining services that included cleaning gold dust inside the mine shafts. He worked with Val Reef Gold's mine during this time before going into mining himself. Now, gold prices dropped in 1997 and Petrus grabbed the opportunity to purchase marginal gold mines from Anglo Gold. He closed the deal on favorable terms which made him the owner of six gold mine shafts at an estimated price of around $7.7 .7 million at the time. Now, another interesting part of the deal is that Anglo Gold allowed him to pay off his debt 
from what his company would earn in the future. Motsepe's position in the mining industry was also strengthened with black economic empowerment laws which were rolled out after the elections in 1994. The laws made it compulsory that before you can get a mining license, your business must have at least 26% black ownership. He continued to buy operating mines to build his mining business, and in 1999, the businessman and two of his associates came together to establish Green and Partners Investments. Now, Motsepe's mining company African Rainbow Minerals teamed up with Harmony Gold in 2002 after its appearance on the JSE. It was during this time that this mining company changed its name to African Rainbow Gold. Now, in addition to that, he founded African Rainbow Minerals Platinum Limited and African Rainbow Minerals Consortium Limited. Motsepe served in many positions, including the chairman of Teal Exploration Mining Incorporated and is currently the chairman of Ubuntu Batu Investment and a non-executive chairman of Harmony Gold Mining and the deputy chairman of Salna. He was also once the president of South Africa's Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Other companies that Petris Motsepe owns include African Rainbow Capital and also Time Bank, which is South Africa's fastest growing digital bank and fully black owned. Now, while the mining and financial sectors proved to be very productive for the South African business mogul, he needed more places to invest in, and sports proved to be a good option. He now fully owns Mamelodi Sundowns, which he gradually acquired. He first got 51% share in the franchise in 2004 along the line, and he bought the rest of the shares. Now, in addition to being the owner of a Premier Soccer League club, Petris Motsebe also has a 37% stake in Blue Bulls and 37% stake in Remgro and 26% in Blue Bulls Rugby Union. Motsebe is now deeply involved in sports world and was elected CAF president on March 12, 2021. Now, the South African billionaire's candidacy for the post raised some dust as FIFA was accused of supporting him in spite of circumstances that shouldn't be allowed. But in the end, it was Petris against no opponents as other candidates for the post withdrew their interest. Now let's get into some of the most expensive things that are owned by Petris Motsepe. Now Motsepe is famous for being one of the richest men in South Africa and his hard-earned money has allowed him to splash cash on many impressive luxuries. Some of the luxuries includes a 69 million rands mansion which is located south of Cape Town. Motsepe bought the house which sits on a 12 square meter plot in 2014. Now this massive house is reported to have six ensued bedrooms with dressing rooms also with a tennis court, a pavilion, a swimming pool, and also a dining room that accommodates at least 26 people at once. Other luxurious extras also includes a gym, a music room, a wine cellar, and a cinema. But one of the most impressive things is that the mansion has a large garage for his collection of cars. Mozepa owns a collection of luxurious BMWs, several Mercedes-Benz cars, a Bentley Continental GT, and also a private jet which he once shared with US rapper 50 Cent. Now, Petrus Motsepe's life and career serves as a powerful testament to the enduring force of determination, innovation, and unwavering commitment to positively impacting our world. His remarkable journey, starting from humble beginnings and leading to his status as one of South Africa's wealthiest individuals, embodies the resilience and entrepreneurial spirits that inspire countless other people. However, it's not just his business success that defines him. Petris Motsepe's role as a philanthropist underscores his deep-seated sense of social responsibility and profound connection to the principles of Ubuntu. Now, through the Petris Motsepe Foundation, he actively translates these ideas into action, touching lives, revitalizing communities, and nurturing a brighter tomorrow for all. Now, this is all we had for you. We could have included more facts, but to avoid making this video long, we decided to add the ones that we thought were more important. Please let us know under the comment section if you felt we could have featured some of the facts or not. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video for more inspirational business stories like this.